Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Warwick and you're watching Gas Tax, the channel that's here to help you build your dream garage. And in my dream garage, I have a 2010 Euro motorcycle. But today we're gonna go over all the accessories I have on my Euro motorcycle so you know what to buy. So let's jump right into it. So right here next to me is my 2010 limited edition Euro Tiger. And this Tiger came with a bunch of accessories. So let's jump into what accessories actually came with the bike and what I did afterwards. So let's start off on the driver's side. Seems weird, but these bikes do have a driver's side. So this is one of 27 Euro Tigers made in 2010, and they only came out in 2010. So with that, they came with a lot of accessories. First off, I'm gonna start with an accessory that's not on the bike, and that is a big windshield and fairing. I decided to remove that because it is a huge wind block and it does slow the bike a bit, uh, slow down the bike a bit, so I decided to put on this little one. So it does come with one of those. On top of that, it does come with this rear luggage rack. This rear luggage rack, you can buy uh, an accessory that goes on top there to make this a rear seat or you can remove it and actually make it um, a rear seat like the front seat. Let's jump over to the other side to see all the other features. So this side is actually where most of the accessories are. So you have this front luggage rack, this rear luggage rack, this shovel and when you go in between here there's a, a front toe eye, a rear toe eye, a come along hand winch and then a gasoline or a fluid canister. And lastly, what came with the Tiger is a rear compartment for like a first aid kit. So as you can see, there's a ton of accessories that came on this bike stock. And back in 2010, this bike retailed for 13,999, which is a fantastic steal back then because bike with these options now would be about $24,000. So now let's go over all the additional accessories I added to this bike. On this side, you'll see there are wind deflectors for your legs. I have added a cylinder head temperature gauge. I have added heated handlebars. I've added a cell phone charger, a cell phone mount. I did upgrade the chair to a nice comfy chair. And then this big black tank on the back is an auxiliary gas tank to really optimize my mileage I can get on the Euro. Now on this side of the bike, I do have a windshield for the sidecar, but my dog doesn't fit with the windshield in. So I have that. I added this rear view mirror. I added this door for my dog. I added this luggage rack. And then if you look over here, this bike you can actually hand shift as well. And if you've seen my other videos about the Euro, you know I say you have to add a steering damper. So I added one as well. Jumping in the back, you'll also see I've added a high exhaust, a two into one exhaust, and I've actually added a tow hitch, a two inch receiver tow hitch. That way, if I want to bring a bicycle along on my ventures, I will. So one thing I forgot to mention is I upgraded all the lights to LED and I also added two spotlights. I've angled these to the left and right. So when I'm driving at night, these actually shine in the ditches so I can see if a deer is coming out in front of me. Another great update for the Euro is the ability to add some emergency blinkers. I do use these quite a bit uh, when I'm just pulling over looking for directions or where to go next but since you have the ability to do it that's a great option as well and the last thing I've added is a complete shut off to this bike so since there's a lot of accessories you tend to forget to uh, turn them all off so every time I leave the bike I just turn the switch and everything turns off so there you have it guys those are all the accessories I have on my Euro if you haven't checked out my last video, I have put out the top five accessories I recommend every Euro gets. So since I've done a video on the top five and clearly I have over 20 accessories on this bike, let's go over the next five accessories I do think you need to get. Starting off with the luggage racks. This one is a must. This one is a nice to have, uh, but definitely this one. When you go in camping with your wife, your friend, your dog, you cannot use this for storage. The back in the trunk here is great storage, but rarely putting some luggage on you rarely helps out. I personally don't have a problem with riding 300 miles on a bike without stopping. So if that's like you, I would recommend adding an auxiliary gas tank. 
That way you can get to your destination quicker with less stops and then you have peace of mind in case you run out of gas. If you're planning on doing a lot of fall and spring riding, I would recommend you get this little door here. It helps keep the passenger warmer because they don't have that engine between their legs to help with warmth. This really does help out. As mentioned many times, lights are your friends on motorcycles because the more lights you have, the more you can see and the more people can see you. So I also would recommend putting these spots spotlights on the front of your bike that way you can see what's in the ditch while you can also be focusing on the road and then lastly another accessory I'm going to recommend is the hand shifter if you haven't driven a motorcycle with a hand shifter this is just a fun little accessory to change the style of riding up it is very unique yet cool and I think it's very worth it. Well guys, there you have it. Those are all the accessories on my bike. Hopefully that gives you an idea of what accessories you want to buy for your bike. And if you haven't checked out my Euro review video, be sure to check that out. But until next time, thanks a lot for tuning in and I'll see you then.